So we're working our way through this fourth vision of Zechariah, and today we're going to uh, see what happens next. The angel of the Lord admonishes Zechariah. So we're looking at verses 6 and 7. Listen up. Then the angel of the Lord admonished Joshua, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, If you will walk in my ways, and if you will keep my command, then you shall also judge my house, and likewise have charge over my courts. I will give you places to walk among those who stand here. So walk in my ways, keep my command. This is the condition of prosperity as God lays it out. It doesn't take a PhD to understand it. He just says, listen, these are my commands. If you're on the same team as I am, do these things. So this is a pretty good plan and it makes just perfect sense. Why are we so stubborn that we can't just, just do it? There's a lot of folks out there who will make a big noise as soon as we talk about his commands and, and this, this obedience thing. Oh no, we might be saved by our works. If we trust him, we'll want to do what he says. The Bible says what? His commandments are not grievous. Go over there to 1 John and you'll read that. So God's ways are always the best ways. Somehow we think we can improve on it. Boy, talk about twisted, twisted mindset. So he says that if, if you are faithful, if there's faithfulness, you will judge my house. So what does that judging business mean? You know, a lot of people associate the time of judges with a time when everything was going wrong. And there certainly was a lot of weirdness and mayhem. Go back and read the book of Judges. But actually in the Bible, we should re realize that the monarchy was a backup plan from the beginning. It wasn't plan A, it was always plan B. The original plan really is, is what? Judges. So what does a judge do in the biblical sense? We, we associate judges with what? Giving legal pronouncements, deciding who goes behind bars and for how long. But I'll tell you what, biblically, a judge was just a, a common person. God appointed that person. That person became the leader and the deliverer of his people. Judges were deliverers. That's what it really means to judge God's people. It means to deliver them. So when, when the promise is made here, if you are faithful, then you will judge my people. He's talking about the fact that, that he will be a faithful leader for God's people. You know, what's interesting here is that the promise is actually made that if they're faithful, they will have a place to walk, what, among those holy people in the vision? What, among the angels? And so if we're faithful, we will have a place to walk among the angels. Many generations, we find ourselves choosing between faithfulness to God and we find a often a corrupted or a being corrupted church system, denominational system, priest, priesthood system. The devil works really hard and he's always working to turn it over and corrupt it and make it all wrong. So we often find ourselves, God's people, choosing between personal faithfulness to God and then you're, you're thrown out of the synagogue, so to speak, or faithfulness to these unfaithful leaders in our church. We want to pray for our leaders, pray for them day by day. Uh, do, not, do not leave them to the, the works of these imps, these devils. Pray that God will preserve them and so that we can have faithful leaders. Uh, many times they'll disappoint us. And you know what? Many times we as, as uh, participants, members in the church, we will perhaps seem to fail them or perhaps we will fail them. They'll feel, they'll feel let down by us. We didn't follow out all their big, wonderful plans. But I'll tell you what, pray for, let's pray for whatever church you're in, pray for its leadership, pray for you in your local church, and let's try to, to let God be our leader and pray that he'll give us godly leaders. You know, a lot of what's going on in Zechariah here is, is God is pointing up his faithful leaders, Zerubbabel and Yeshua, Joshua. So let us be faithful persons, however God is using us. God bless you, and we look forward to having you with us again tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.